Hi everybody, it's John Quill. Consuelo is working tonight. It's the night before Thanksgiving. And I'm just thinking of everybody out there hoping that you're having slightly lonely Thanksgivings like we are to be safe so that we don't have a disastrous, deadly Christmas. Um, also, I just want to say to any smug, insolent internet cowards who may wander by the channel, <laughs> um, here's my take on what you all call trans. Okay. Let me be very clear because I know you're not going to hear this, so I'm going to say this first. I believe everyone, regardless of mental state, emotional state, disability, sex, race, ethnicity, la la da da da, what they wear, what they call themselves, whatever, whatever surgery or uh, they've had done to themselves, whatever um, mutilations they have chosen to perform upon their persons. I believe everyone has equal rights, should have equal rights under the law. Protection, safety in their persons, um, all rights for jobs, housing, freedom from discrimination, etc., etc. And here's where I guess I differ from the rest of the male-led left. And a lot of the female-led left, too. I believe that women and girls have rights to exactly the same thing. And that means that males, whatever amount of makeup they're wearing or earrings they're wearing or surgeries they've had, do not get to be everywhere that females and girls, especially girls, but also women, I'm thinking always of the imprisoned women, wherever we are. We have a right to privacy in our bodies. We have a right to not be forced to, for instance, wax the balls of a male because he wears a dress. And in Canada, many um, women of color have been bankrupted from their small businesses for that very crime. Are you aware of that, insolent internet cowards? Probably not. Are you aware that in the UK, a man named Karen White sexually assaulted and perhaps raped women he was incarcerated with because we live in crazy land. I am not going to call anybody, especially some military person who assaulted his lesbian supervisor by a female pronoun when they didn't grow up with one. And you know what? And let's talk about Jazz Jennings too. Speaking of growing up as one, that boy would have been a beautiful little gay boy. And look what they've done to him. It's a disaster. It's homophobia. Homophobia. You know where trans is really popular? Fucking Iran. Can you think of a more homophobic society besides, I don't know, maybe Uganda or Russia? Hmm? It's homophobic to tell young lesbians that they have to sleep with males because the males are wearing a fucking dress. It's homophobic... <laughs> I I can't believe I have to explain this, right? I to to call yourself a lesbian couple when you're a fucking hat couple. I am in a I am in a lesbian marriage, okay? Wait, let them get married. I don't care who they marry, right? I really could give a rip. Two dudes want to wear dresses, wear earrings, call themselves Sheila and Jen. Go for it. Go for it. Get married. But here's what I won't do. I won't call you by my name. I hope everybody has a fantastic Thanksgiving. And the girl, oh God, G listen to this in chicken news. I saved this for the end. This is the best part of the video. Okay. Berenice laid her fourth egg yesterday. And it was huge. It was huge and pointy. And it had a double yolk. Bye everybody.